Okay, we're gonna do a pit auto tune here. Um, now that we've done the ground mod or the ground wire fixes, uh, so you see, I've got it here in Octoprint, and I've got this thing cooled down to pretty reasonable temperature. What are we down to? Yeah, 34, 31. So cooled down nicely. Um, I did have the temperature too high. I tried doing a PID tuning right after the ABS test print. And uh, I don't know if that does anything bad, but I'd rather start in a normal situation where I've actually got the machine cooled down. So we go ahead and kick that off. And you can see it says auto-tune start there. Um, and it's going to go through and do its configuration and then spit out some feedback at the end. Uh, I do have the uh, creative site up in the background that has this in Swedish translated over to English. So um, my understanding is this takes about six minutes to complete and then we'll get some data. So we'll pick up right after that. Just a little view of what's happening here. It looks like it's, it set the temperature for the auto-tune process, but it, it's not showing up as a target, um, either on the display itself or on the uh, Octoprint data. So I assume this is largely an internal process. And you know, we're just gonna kind of watch it go here. We've hit our target temperature and it looks like it's turned off the heater. You can see the at 255 here indicates the heater's on, at zero indicates the heater's off. Nice steady climb up, a little bump there, and now it's starting its downward trend after which I assume we'll get the oh no turn it back on again so there must be some variations here and I'm seeing an at 254 interesting so we got our first piece of feedback here you can see it's got a a bias number <clears throat> minimum maximum so it's definitely collecting some data some additional information here you can see it says classic PID and it's continuing on with its testing. So again, we've gotten some data back, although we're still not done with the whole process. Okay, we just finished with Auto-Tune and we're gonna go ahead and put this data in EEPROM. You can see it says the KP, KI, and KD information. So we'll go ahead and go to the configuration screen and set this information. All right, so you can see here we've got our values. P is 8.6, I is dot six one, and D is 30.25. So go into our configuration here. And it's actually in extruder. And there's our P value is 8.60. Our I value, which is 0.61. And our D value, which was 30.25. Oh. So we'll just call it 30.3. Okay. So that's pit autotune process. You see we just got the information straight out of it. And you know, I've seen this say a couple of different software packages to use, but really anything you can use that can get to the uh, serial communication with this, I've set up Doctor Print, so worked quite well for me. We'll see how it behaves now.